Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to New World. Giving my thoughts and impressions. I played uh, the first stress test. I've uh, been invited to all the alphas as well. Those were under NDA, but this is actually the closed beta. Uh, to anybody that did pre-order or they did give out keys. They did have some free. They invited testers as well. And co-current numbers on this have actually been pretty good. Uh, over 200,000 co-current uh, quite a bit of the time. So that's, that's impressive for Amazon. It is a, a very nice to see because Amazon Games has put out a couple bad things. Uh, Crucible was one of the most uh, memorable ones. That game that went to beta to full release, spend back to alpha, and then they just put it out of its misery. Actually, was uh, I was paid to sp uh, do a sponsor stream on the front page of Twitch for Crucible. And that was a really hard time acting, pretending you were having fun for that one. Oof. But I am happy to port New World. I have played it about 90 hours or so during this beta. The beta is coming to close uh, Monday, early Monday morning. And it's... God, it's been good. Uh, there are a couple caveats, though. One thing to worry about. First up, let's talk about the cash shop. I mean, I don't have a big, big complaints about the cash shop as it stands right now, but they did mention a lot about post-launch. Talking about, we'll discuss, we'll take a look at that later. So, there's no uh, XP boosters, no fast travel things yet. There was a lot of pushback uh, from the community on that regard. There was a lot of pushback on that. And hopefully they take that to heart. Uh, but actually, we got a thing here because I think a thousand of the marks of fortune. I'm gonna think that's a dollar. Don't quote me on that because this outfit I think was about thirteen thousand marks of fortune. So an outfit for like thirteen bucks. Remember, this isn't a this isn't a sub. This is not a free to play game either, though. It is a minimum of forty bucks. And also, do you need the deluxe edition? Not really. I did get it myself because I do like that deluxe edition stuff, but it doesn't really, it's not really worth it uh, at the end of the day. Let's also see what else they have in the shop here. Yeah, it's, that one was kind of okay, but that headpiece is just ridiculous. And so right now, they're just selling dyes, and actually you can make an insane amount of dyes for free in the game. Uh, so, so like these would be like $3, $1.50. Okay, maybe, but emotes, $4 emote, that's not too bad. Yeah, like, that was about 13 bucks. That's, that's a little, I think that was about seven fifty if we're going by that. $12 bunny, though. Though you can't place unlimited bunnies in there, but 12 bucks. Uh, I don't know. The, net, the, the exclusive crest and stuff was kind of nice. That was nice, and then they had the bundle stuff, but... Yeah, so this is just something to keep an eye on. I do feel like Amazon will try to sneak in as much monetization as possible. Because Amazon needs a lot of money. And that's a little bit of a bug. Your achievements keep popping up every time you log in. But alright, there we go. And up next, one thing... I do want to, there is a little bit of weapon clipping now and again, but I do want to say fairly nice job though, considering I'm carrying a gigantic warhammer, a musket, and a shield on my back. That is not bad. Right, we do have the inventory gear set as well. You will notice I'm carrying about a down to hundred pounds of weapons. Uh well, I like to kind of just play around with all the weapon sets and pick up the latest weapon I do have. I do have the majority of these you will salvage. And I will say loot drops. I mean, also, granted, this could be me. I'm, maybe I'm just having bad luck. Uh, but very seldom. Uh, I actually last around the community a lot, too. Uh, faction vendors seem to have the best gear. And my next setup of gear is, I do believe, armor-wise is level 40 in the faction thing. Uh, so there's. I'm still wearing a lot of the previous faction gear. Because that nothing better drops. Nothing better drops. I've had a there's a lot of armor weapon drops a lot of almost like the Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, Ubisoft like the division as well 
Like, it's always, like, 2% better, so you're changing up armor and weapons quite a bit. But it's usually... It's point three twenty one threes. Oh, that's, uh... Obviously drunk. Anytime you salvage this, you will get repair parts back and a little bit of cash. Not too bad. And what I also find funny, unlike Amazon, you have to pay taxes in this game. Uh, for your houses as well. Uh, we did find out because we got a house for a guild. That's the thing I can bring it up and we can actually go check that out real quick. Yeah, the taxes are about... On the biggest house you can get, depending on also the faction owns it, and depending, you can also get discounts with your standing. Taxes on our current house are about 1600 And that's a week. So it's... It's not nothing. That is quite a bit. Cash-wise, we don't know about the economy yet because it's a beta. Uh, it is not a... There are no NPC vendors. You can't sell your stuff off or anything. It is all a player-driven economy. And we don't know how that's going to be yet. Uh, but this should be our house right here. I don't know if... Because they don't have guild houses per se, which I think is a vast oversight. Uh, really. Oh, actually, our buddy Crazy Death. Give him a shout-out. Yeah, this is our house. About 10,000 coins. We put a little bit of decoration, but not too much. Got a little bit of bar here as well. That's yeah, quite nice. I like the nice red tones, and it's got a nice front yard, nice big backyard. Comes with the fireplace. Actually, two, I believe. A couple beds. Yeah, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. Though you do have to upkeep on the taxes or you do lose it, though. So. And I almost wonder if they will start selling warehousing kind of like Elder Scrolls Online does it. Uh, that's thing that something could also become uh, monetization-wise. Alright, let's also go on to talk about some of the things that have gone right during this beta. And some of the things that have gone wrong. You will notice, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything on the story-wise, so don't worry about that. But I'm currently in my... One mission highlighted on the top right there is the mission quest I have for the storyline. And it is locked at level 40. And you will notice I am level 33. So, I have a lot of side questing in my future. Let's talk about XP as well, because I feel they are already kind of making it a bit more grindy. And I mean, it's initially because I've already, there's a lot of level 60s already. There's also, because there's been some various XP exploits. Some other things to are taking advantage of. Amazon's working through it. You know, adjusting, balancing. Uh, but let's actually talk about Town Board Quests. Because I actually got about 10 or so levels really quick with Town Board Quests. They did kind of nerf this. Let's see. This actually usually originally, like, 250 wood was a couple thousand XP. Was quite a bit. Now it's... Uh, it's not really, other than doing the projects for the town to help you upgrade stuff and town upkeep, it's not worth doing to me. Uh, that XP, I could go do a side quest. I could do anything else. And that's, it's just, it's just, you're slowing down gameplay to make up for maybe a lack of post-game content because that's the one thing you gotta worry about. Uh, traditionally, when you play an MMO, uh, your players will burn through content Far greater than you could ever imagine. Uh, ooh, but that is... That's still not bad. Occasionally there's a mission that I think they didn't nerf. But that's a little bit... That's a, like a tier 2 lumber thing. Uh, so we'll go do that and we can give you up some more thoughts here. Of course, let me know what you thought of the beta. If you did play it in the comments below. Uh, we can discuss that next time when we play New World. Gonna probably have to wait about a month though. All right. All right. So just let's go back down and I can actually cut over here. I kind of do have the town a little bit memorized at this point. We're gonna need forty lumber. And let's talk about crafting, because uh, as a town, you can work help them out, keep the town upkeep. Uh, the person who makes these decisions though in town, like to what to upgrade and what to do, is actually the guild that controls it. Because this is where the PvP comes to mind. I've seen a lot of comments. Oh, they want all, only PvP. All PvP. Uh, everybody gets everybody's loot. And I don't think that's the way to go. Uh, because 
you'll you'll they will die out quickly. I know the PvPers they will just say no, that's how you, that that'll save the game. No, it won't. Uh, already I've seen a lot of just uh, PvP works. Uh, I turn my flag on in town. I turn it off in town. If I go outside of town, I have like a man. I think it's a thirty per second. Yeah, up and up right protection timer. Once I'm outside of that, the PvP will click on. Uh, regardless, you can do PvP missions for your faction as well to help the influence. Uh, help take back over territories, etc. So let's look at the map here. This colonel you see here, this is actually owned by the Syndicate. Though it has changed hand quite a bit uh, during this beta. And right now, the Covenant is making a move. And if Covenant gets enough influence, they can challenge... One of the guilds that has done enough of the influence can challenge uh, the guild that's defending it right now. So this is where a lot of the player PvP action comes into play. Yeah, so coming in over here. There's an upcoming war. And the war is about... We'll actually check it out here. War is a 50v50. A guild versus guild. Like, say, Skilly and CC Army. Uh, if they have 50 members, the most likely that they do... It will be a 50 on 50 uh, guild battle. And whoever wins that, they either retain control of the territory or they lose it. And if you don't have, if you do have managed to get 10%, and it costs about 7,500 to declare war as well. So it is an expensive deal. Uh, but yeah, if you do do that, and they don't have actually 50 guild members, uh, actually, you can start getting recruits. But usually. Top guild, if you're getting 10% of the PvP out there, you've got more than 50 members. So I very seldom, I think, early game are we going to see anybody being able to volunteer for this. They also do have Outpost Rush as well, which I do believe is a 20v20. Uh, they really do have defending forts, etc. So there's a lot of PvP going on in this game as well. Although I will tell you, it is a lot of level base though. Uh, because... They don't have really PvP gear stats. It's more of just... If you're high lever, level, you are going to crush them. And also, one other thing. Let's cover all of our bases here. Each town has a storage. And there is uh, some things you can get with rep. Where you can get about 25%, 25 more kilograms or pounds in storage. Uh, so you can expand that a little bit. But each town, you do have a thousand pounds in each town though you cannot access them all uh, you can only access the materials when you're in that town so that is something to be aware but it's fairly generous i do want to say as far as i know right now the town the house doesn't really other than the fast travel point it doesn't add any storage to your life all right well, let's talk about the big thing but the guilds yeah the guilds do control what town projects get done uh, how the town develops. And then it's your point. Uh, everyone does pitches in to do town projects to improve it. Uh, but war, corruption, invasion, and everything will, uh, of course, interfere with that. It's actually stone cutting in over here. But let's talk a little bit about a big thing I'm really in love with. And I would say Final Fantasy XIV crafting to me is a little bit better. But... Man, it is better than ESO. It is some really good crafting. Uh, there are a majority. Uh, we've got seven crafting skills, five gathering skills, and five refining skills. So it's it's not nothing. And I've been... I'm not level 60 because I've been doing a lot of this. So my skills could be a little higher. So I think if you're grouping up with your buddies, you kind of all want to specialize in a couple little things. I'm going to be specializing in armor and furniture. Uh... And then all the gathering and refining things, you kind of, that just comes with the territory if you want to do any of those skills. I think everybody's going to be really good at this. Uh, though for once you have the XP on here, it does get really slow. Like, uh, for logging, it is ludicrously slow. Like, you will chop so many trees, it's ridiculous. But yeah, as your levels progress, you will learn more and more. Unlock more and more. So basically, you're grinding out weapons... To eventually make better weapons. A little bit of Kenshi homage almost. Uh, yeah, and you just keep making more and better and better. So you're going to be grinding a lot of the same weapons. I just immediately salvage them move on. 
But yeah, there's a different, a lot of different builds, a lot of different fun to be had in this one. I definitely do think. Let's also talk about Weapon Master. I'm going to gloss over a couple things because I was really just my thoughts and feelings over the game, uh, this beta. But yeah, full breakdown. It takes some time. It takes some time. Uh, you do have 20 points in every weapon you can learn. I think I'm going to unlaunch. I think I'm going to do Warhammer uh, for tanking. And then probably maybe musket to pull uh, for that. So crowd crushers, remember AOE control like that. Juggernauts a little bit for damage. The Warhammer, a lot of fun. And they did talk about, because you can see here, there's some empty spots, right? There's some empty spots here. They did talk about weapon, other weapons that might be bringing post-launch. I myself would love a katana. That would be pretty... Uh, BA. Sword and shield, a little bit of tanking as well. The rapier is not bad. The hatchet, I kind of like. I guess there's a little bit of exploiting and great axe going on. We'll see if they address it. Spear wasn't bad. The bow, I haven't really messed with that, so I can't count it too much. Musket, I do love. And magic, probably not for me for my build because, let's see. I'm strength and constitution. Intelligence, focus. These are not my things. All right. Got a little bit of combat. We'll see if I can really see. Uh, it's a little bit later at night, so I don't think it's as much going on. Uh, but during peak time, I will see about a dozen uh, or so just hanging out in town waiting for somebody to come in for PvP. Uh, so, that'd be a little bit of an issue. Yeah, but overall, gotta say... I will pay you for you. There you go. And it does actually have streamer highlights as well because... Unfortunately, sometimes you get a lot of attention if you're streaming. But it does have a Twitch integration app if you are streaming for that. So it's kind of cool. And since uh, Twitch is owned uh, by Amazon, I think there's going to be some nice drops. Although I do think this game will take a hit. I know you see a lot of the top name streamers playing this right now. Uh, but one thing you will notice, all of there says "ad" in the title, because you're kind of legally contracted to. And once Amazon starts stops paying, you're gonna see a lot of abandonment, though. We'll just throw off a little bit of skills on this poor wolf right here. Yeah, level sixes. And they, the lower enemies will aggro you. You can see that guy's got his red PVP flag on, but at level 52. Yeah, we're not going to deal with that right at the moment. And you can't toggle your PvP flag unless you're in town. So you can't jump somebody and then toggle it off. So once you commit to PvP, you're outside of town. You're in it for a bit. In it for a bit. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, is it worth the money? Is it worth the buy? I think so. Uh, but also, there was one other caveat. One thing I did find rather upsetting... I was in the middle of doing a story that took me near a fort. But there was an ongoing battle with said fort. So I could not access the area because they don't let anybody in when that PvP battle is going on. Which I do understand, but you can keep me go PvE and maybe they don't want to... But do not put a main quest line for PvE in the middle of a PvP thing you're going to lock off. It just It's, it's not going to go well. Opening day. Trust me on that one. Uh, but I'm a little worried also about the uh, lot of nerf of XP. Uh, I mean, that goes granted with an MMO. I think a lot of people are going to grind out 60 really fast. Yeah, the end game's fun. Uh, but I think more if you like, if you really like PvP. The excavations, the dungeons, if you will, I do believe there are six on launch, are actually a lot of fun. Oh, hi there. Okay. Got a lot of arrows for no reason. That's all right. Uh, they're actually quite a great time. I ran the first one quite a number of times and working on our way on to the second. They're well done. They're very enjoyable. The music good. The aesthetics is good. I do believe this is a worth a buy at launch. Though, longevity wise, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, time will tell. 
Like I said, they, they're, there's a bit that needs sorted before launch. Bugs, etc. This beta, it wasn't for testing, server crunching testing. It's promotion. That's what it was with Fallout 76. They didn't fix anything. They just wanted to do promotion. But they've rolled out a couple patches. They're trying. Uh, but I do feel Amazon, they have more money than anyone on the planet. They should be able to make this work. That's my two cents. I do think it is a buy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, some of the comments I've seen. Boring walking simulator. Frankly, I do disagree. But uh, if you don't like walking, MMOs, probably not for you. Uh, but it is probably one of my more fun games of the year. This will probably, if uh, launch go well and uh, do enjoy it, it might be in my top ten for sure. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next month in the new world.